inspiring the evolution of embedded design since 1988. I am Michael. I am Thomas. And we made a laser 3D scanner. Which uses Raspberry Pi. As digital visualization of 3D objects has become more prevalent in the modern age, with the rise of 3D printing. We, how it works is there's a line laser here that projects a uh, laser onto a slice of the object. And then we have a Pi camera in the back here that can capture that individual slice. And then afterwards, this table has a stepper motor underneath, and it rotates it. Um, so with that, we can cap uh, capture the cylindrical coordinates. Um, so the Z being this way, the R being the distance from the center of the object to each individual point on the line, and then the theta being what the, uh, how the table rotates. Uh, so to start the machine, um, we want the laser to be brightest. So we shut it to close off any other light and we can simply press this start button. Most of the box was manufactured with a laser cutter. Designs were produced in Fusion 360 and cut using Corel Draw on an Epilog Zing 40 watts laser cutter. And then this on the screen is showing uh, each time what the camera is seeing um, in each rotation. And this image is then processed and filtered um, for red light and then um, transformed to get rid of the perspective uh, that is being seen from the camera um, and then this is then converted into just one line of pixels that can be used to create a mesh later. Yeah and so if you look over here at some of their sample pieces that we were testing um, this was one of the first ones we tested um, and we actually were able to print out a uh, object that it made. Um, so the printer actually, after it finishes scanning, um, outputs a .obj file, which can be pretty easily 3D printed, um, and it emails it to whatever email you want. Though the scan is not perfect, one of the biggest finds and successes that they discovered during testing was the consistency of the device. Throughout multiple trials of the same object, the scanner produced a .obj file that was similar each time even when they slightly altered the placement of the object. Read more about this project and many more at circuitseller.com.